attack on Port Hedland during World War II has been commemorated at a dawn service in the northwest town. Sixty years ago today, during an early morning raid, Japanese planes dropped more than 50 bombs on the town's airfield, killing one soldier. In 1942, Japanese bombers struck Darwin and Broome, and on the 30th of July of that year, Port Hedland was the target. The local aerodrome was being defended by the Volunteer Defence Corps and regular troops, among them Private Phil Aitchison, now 90, who saw nine aircraft approaching the base. I looked up and I saw these planes and I knew damn well they were Japs. And my front of my tent there was a little bit of a hauler thing and I lay down there. And that's when the bombs started to go off. Just metres from where he took cover, 19-year-old Private John Adams was fatally wounded by shrapnel from a daisy cutter bomb. So the Japs let their bombs off a bit too late. And they only got one poor bugger, John Adams. Today, the community remembered the fallen soldier and the day the war came to their town. The only West Australian soldier who died on West Australian soil was Private Adams. The attack on Port Hedland was part of a Japanese plan to destroy American bombers which were flying attacks out of the northwest. The bombers were actually stationed near Marble Bar and not Port Hedland. The RSL will place a plaque to commemorate the bombing and in memory of Private Adams at the town's war memorial. Jane Griliasich, ABC News, Port Hedland.